Hi my loves, so today I wanted to do a video for Mystery Monday that is different than I've done on my channel, at least in the history of my channel. I've never showed you guys how I do this, but I've recently seen a lot of videos showing how people do their different routines of taking off their makeup. Now taking off your makeup is the most important step of wearing makeup. You must take your makeup off at the end of each night. Now I am one to say that I do actually sleep in my makeup quite often. It's not the best thing to do. I definitely do not recommend it. It's not good for your skin at all, but I just work a weird schedule and I typically am up and doing things at different hours of the day and night. So sometimes it's just a hassle for me, but I think I've simplified my makeup removal process to being as simple as possible so that there really is no excuse not to take off your makeup at the end of the night. So I'm just going to show you guys what I use and how I take off my makeup and hopefully you guys can learn something from this. But before I go on into the rest of this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you have not already. It really means a lot to me and I would love to have you guys stay and subscribe to my channel because I am planning to have a lot more fun and different content out for you guys in the near future. Also, don't forget to hit the bell button so that you guys can get notified of my videos. YouTube has been very weird lately, so not everybody gets notified all the time when people upload. So I would really appreciate if you would do that because then you guys get notified every time I upload a video. Also, don't forget to thumbs this video up if you'd like to see more videos surrounding skincare or really just other videos that are pertaining to makeup but may not necessarily be specific to makeup. So that is all for my intro and we can move on into how I remove all of this cake. Alrighty, so the first step is I always take off my glasses or my contacts. That is very important. If you wear contacts especially, it may not seem like it, but you want to make sure that you take them out before you go in with any type of cleanser or makeup remover around your eye area because you don't want to damage them and you don't want to get any type of product in them because that is not going to be fun. Trust me, it's happened before because I've forgotten to take them out by accident. It's just not a good time. So what I actually use to remove my makeup is the Pond's Cold cream. Now I saw like a bunch of like youtubers partnering with the ponds as a brand and they were talking about this and I honestly will say I heard this from my mom she actually was the one who told me about the ponds line like their moisturizers and their cold cream way back before I even started wearing like heavy makeup because this was what she used back in the day to remove her makeup and as her skincare so I actually really like this it's super inexpensive a tub like this which has 9.5 ounces is like five or six bucks at Walmart so it's really inexpensive and it works really well. Now, the only thing with this is that it doesn't, in my opinion, come off that easily just by using soap and water. You wanna physically take it off before you go ahead and cleanse. So what I use for that, I actually use a couple different things. One method is I use one of these facial sponges. I will just wet it under water and then just go in and wipe off the product after I worked it into my skin. Or, and I have a huge thing of this, I use baby wipes. This is from Walmart. Walmart, you can get this pack for about five dollars I think it is and these are the soft and smooth hypoallergenic wipes by Equate and these are my favorite they have not broken me out they're super gentle and they're really inexpensive so sometimes I use those they're very easy to use once you work the product or the cleanser cold cream into your skin you can go in wipe away the cold cream and just toss the wipe now another method and the one that I'm gonna show you today is using a microfiber cloth you can also use a washcloth any type of like smaller towel material will really work well to take off the cold cream and you want to make sure whatever you're using is slightly damp because for some reason when I take this off if I'm using like a dry tissue or something it just ends up drying out my skin so having something that's slightly damp will help it glide over your skin a lot easier so now what I'm gonna do is put that down and I'm gonna go ahead and start removing all this makeup so I go in and I take a decent amount of this product you don't need to take a huge amount because a little does go a long way but you do want to make sure that you get a good amount to just break up all of this and what I do is I start by just kind of smoothing it all over my skin and just rubbing it in you basically want to do this like a moisturizer or any type of skincare you just want to go over and really just work it into the makeup and you'll start to see 
that it's gonna melt away all of this product and I do around my eyes and my lips last just because those tend to have the most like color to them and obviously my eyes because I want to be able to see if I got all the other areas of my face first so just gonna do this and today I'm actually wearing waterproof mascara. I tend to wear waterproof mascara a lot and that can be really harsh on your lashes. So don't worry, this will take off any waterproof makeup that you're wearing. And it's super gentle on the eyes. You can open your eyes after you do this. The only time I would say that you can't do that is if you do use a crap ton of this product because it can get thick right there and then it can fall into your eyes. But when using just a light layer, you don't have to worry about getting this in your eyes. And if you do get it in your eyes, it doesn't hurt or sting or anything. That's one reason why I love this product. I really hate, and especially if I was wearing contacts that day, I hate getting any type of product in or around my eye that stings because it just irritates them so much. And my eyes are very sensitive. So you just work this all the way in and get everywhere. And this is a liquid lip, so you can see right away. Now that you're looking very scary, you want to go ahead and with whatever you're using to wipe away the cold cream. And my lips are going to be slightly stained. That typically happens when I wear bright pink lipstick. There's nothing you can really do about it, but it did get off all the products. So some of that pink is not product, it is just a stain. But you can see, it's super easy, and you don't have to tug at your skin at all. Like, I'm going very gently. I don't know if it looks that way in camera, but I'm definitely not tugging on my skin or doing anything crazy. This doesn't irritate your skin at all. Like I said, using this method just really is the simplest, fastest, and easiest way to do this. Now that your skin is completely free of makeup, you can go in and double cleanse. And I do do that sometimes with my Dove Beauty Bar. It's their sensitive skin beauty bar. And you can use that for your body or your face. That's the only facial cleanser that I found that doesn't break me out. But when I use the microfiber cloth, because it is so damp when you use it, I actually just go straight in and I use my moisturizer. And I just rub that into my skin. Like I said, you can double cleanse if you like, but I don't feel I need to when I use the microfiber cloth. When I use the wipes, because there is a chemical on that, like the wipes actually have like a solution on them, I do prefer to go ahead and double cleanse because I find that when you leave that solution on the skin without washing it off, it can dry out the skin a little bit. So I just prefer that method to actually go ahead and wash my skin again. But this way is the simplest for me because I don't have to do that and I can just go ahead and apply my skincare products right away. Once my makeup is off and I do moisturize my skin, I do like to sometimes go in with an oil and this is the Vivian Naturals Organic Jojoba Oil. It really doesn't matter the brand, but jojoba oil is really, really good for your skin. From what I've understood, it is the closest oil composition to your natural sebum. So it's gonna be the, I guess, best for your skin in that aspect because it's not gonna be super unnatural or sit weird on the skin, like it'll just absorb really nicely. So I basically apply this to the center of my face because that's where I get the most dry. And I tap very lightly underneath my eyes. And don't bring it too close to like your lash line area because it will like move there naturally. And if you already apply too much right there, it's just gonna move into your eye and that's not gonna feel too nice. I just wanted to mention what the last product was that I applied, which was something to my lips, which is why they're looking extra shiny right now. But I actually go in with Aquaphor. This is my favorite lip moisturizer to use, especially at night. It's super hydrating. It just heals the lips really nice. It doesn't have a weird taste or a weird smell. It's not super oily or like weird feeling. So I actually really love this and I recommend anybody who is like me and just doesn't like weird like tastes or smells around their mouth. This is the go-to product. So I apply that onto my lips in a thick layer and I let that stay on my mouth 
all night because that is what's gonna help keep your lips hydrated throughout the next day when you're using products like liquid lips and liners and things that are a little bit more drying. So that is pretty much it for how I do my makeup removal process. Like I said, certain things do change every now and then, like I'll use the wipes or the little sponge instead of the cloth, but these will really depend on how much exfoliation I want. The cloth, in my opinion, exfoliates the most, the sponge is the next, and then the wipes are the next after that. It depends on what level ex of exfoliation you need, tongue twister, and then it also depends on how tired you are, how fast you want it to be. Using the sponge for me takes the longest because I have to not only wipe off the makeup, but then I have to rinse out the sponge so that it doesn't sit there, and then I have to make sure that I double cleanse after. The wipes are a little bit easier because you can just throw out the wipes and then double cleanse, and then this is the easiest because all I gotta do is wet this, wipe off my makeup, and then apply my skincare without having to double cleanse. So like I said, little things here and there change, but relatively this is exactly how I would do my makeup removal process. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too rambly. I kind of wanted to talk a little bit more in this video, especially because it is such a simple makeup removal routine. Um, I was hopefully able to give you guys a little bit more, I guess, an in-depth idea of how I take off my makeup and why I use the things that I use. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said earlier, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that bell button, and thumbs this video up if you'd like to see more from me. Now that I'm done with all of that, I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you may be, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye everybody!